What's up guys? It's your boy. Excuse me, but what are your thoughts on pinion watches? Oh, so you mean, what's my opinion? What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here and let's talk about black watches and why we love them so much. In my opinion, they are super stealthy, really cool, and when they're done well, they are simply gorgeous. And they are a staple among seemingly every watch brand, especially the higher end watch brands. And as we move towards the higher end watch brands, we kind of sort of graduate away from the IN plating and PVD watches onto the high grade DLC watches. So. Let's go take a look at one of London's best watchmakers who happens to make a super cool black watch done well. Let's go. And here is the Axis 2 by Pinion. And huh, let's start with this question right here. It's actually DLC. And while PVD is decent, DLC is the ultimate in black watches. And it stands for diamond-like carbon. It uses a form of carbon which is blasted on the surface and then rapidly cooled. It's very similar to the way synthetic diamonds are created, hence the name. And the resultant finish is extremely hard wearing. And the Axis 2 is in 42 millimeters. It's 50 millimeters from lug to lug. 12.8 millimeters tall and with a 22 millimeter lug width. The Axis 2 definitely has vintage notes as well as being inspired by military watches. And one of the first things I noticed on the watch is the contrasting steel crown. I actually love this detail. Uh, in addition to it looking really cool and giving it that sort of industrial look, I think it serves a really nice purpose. It's, it's, it, and it's done in a really nicely polished uh, steel finish. But the purpose I'm referring to is, let me compare it. Uh, to my other DLC watch, which is my Jean Richard. See the crown here? I'm assuming it's DLC or maybe PVD, but do you see these white de um, little marks on, on the crown here? These are not scratches. These are, uh, it looks like just from dry skin from the fingers. I know that sounds kind of gross, but I, that happens, right? And it's very hard to get these out. I have to use a, a, a very fine brush because they get stuck in between the uh, the ridges there on the crown. And that doesn't happen uh, because of the uh, polished steel crown. So I think that helps really cover up any of those things. That's just, that's just gonna happen from, from our finger and from our skin. And one of the notes or policies that Pinion goes by is if adding details doesn't add anything to the watch, they won't do it. And the details they choose to use are really effective, and such as the crown right here. And on the dial, I really like this dial. It's neither a matte or pure glossy dial. It's really, it, it has this texture uh, right there. And it, it really lends itself to more of a vintage look on a modern case. And one of the other nice details that they use is on the buckle. It's something that we don't usually think about because it's just, it's just, I guess, just part of the watch or really the strap. But this is actually DLC and there's their branding right there, Pinion. And that makes a difference because, well, it doesn't really affect me, but whenever I'm on the computer, on the keyboard, I always take off the watch because I try to protect the clasps of all my watches. And I know I'm kind of crazy like that, but I always try to protect my watches. Let me know if you guys go to that kind of extreme to take off your watches whenever you're on the keyboard. But because this is DLC, it's going to give it, it's going to be much more resistant and, and tougher against the keyboard versus again, <laughs> my Jean Richard where the clasp, this is the entire case is done in a nice DLC finishing, but the clasp, and I've complained about this in my other JR video, it's in PVD. You can see there aren't any marks on here because as I said, I, I removed the watch whenever I'm at the computer, but this is PVD. So, you know, it does make me a little bit more nervous because PVD is weaker than DLC, but not the case with, with the uh, pinion. And the, while we're here, while I have my JR, the JR is done in a nicely matte black finish compared to the pinion, which is done in a nicely polished black finish. And, and that's really my choice. I like, uh, that's my preference, I guess I should say. I, I like that polished black look uh, on the Axis 2. They've done a really nice job with the details of this watch. And returning to the dial, we noticed the nice Arabic numerals with 
12, 3, 6, and 9. And in addition to the numerals, all the sticks come together to provide a really strong loom. And black watches in general are very photogenic. It's kind of hard to mess up a black watch in pictures. And this is where I think pinion watches excel because once we handle the watches in person, we get it. Is this just a very special watch? Uh, and in, it just has a really nice feel in our hand. And we know that this is a very well-made watch. We can just tell right away. And a quick quick story time right in the middle of a review. Uh, I think it was during Salon QP in 2013 when Piers Berry, the owner of Pinion Watches, debuted his watches there. And he sold out of his watches on site. Because you know this is the kind of watch that, uh, as I said, once we ha hold it in our hand, it's we tell ourselves that we have to have this watch. And uh, I think that's a significant story because pinion watches were brand new at that time when he debuted his watches. And in addition to the DLC version, the Axis 2 is also available in steel with a black dial and a white dial, as well as a marine grade bronze in a green dial and blue dial. I think the Axis 2 is a very stealthy watch, and if we turn it over, we see the movement. So what is this movement we're seeing? What is powering the Axis 2? Well, it is being powered by the ETA 2824, and we can immediately see how well uh, it is finished. I mean, Pinion did a really great job with uh, the finishing of the movement. I mean, there is great uh, perlage details back there, and that really cool hunter green custom rotor and the pinion watches are hand assembled in lancashire england with final quality checks in oxfordshire england and if we turn the watch back over we can see uh there at six o'clock where it says london and it's not like the more commonly swiss made labels this is such a cool and well-made watch and as i said earlier i really like that contrasting crown which explains why i went with the natural color leather strap instead of a black strap to give it that all black look in my opinion it's just a nicer look it stands out more and it's just it's a lot sharper with this uh contrasting strap right here but you get to choose whatever color leather strap you want and i have to show you the presentation that comes with this watch because it has to be one of the nicest presentations I've ever seen, regardless uh, if it's from a mainstream or independent brand. It's just a really cool watch with a lot of goodies. So I'm going to show you a video clip that I made when I just started the unboxing of this watch. So I wanted to show you what an impressive and warm presentation we get with our pinion watches. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a, a box like this that comes with tissue and a, and a really nice ribbon. It almost looks like a box of chocolates, but I'll take what's inside this box anytime over chocolates. It's just a really nice and impressive and warm presentation. Thank you and nice job, pinion. And here's one of their silicone straps in black, and one day I might change it out to this. Uh, there's their branding right there, as well as on the buckle right there. This is just a really high quality, well-made silicone strap. I think this is a great time for some wrist shots. So you know the drill, Mickey will keep you company, and I'll be right back. Oh. And I like that it says London. I think there are a lot of great British made watches. Uh, and there is great history with watches that come from the UK. We have to remember that Rolex was originally made in England. So if we return back to the movement, this is the open case back, but it is also available in a solid case back. Uh, and the cost of the access to with the solid case back is roughly $2,100 and this model with the open case back is roughly $2,400 and I think what we get with that is an exceptionally well-made watch in a very attractive and warm package. And we're back. And I think British made watches are the new German made watches when it comes to quality made watches representing their country. I mean, over the past few years, there have been some fantastic British watch companies that have invaded the watch world. And I think Pinion has an advantage in a couple of ways. Uh, I think they sort of create a lifestyle brand. And there was, uh, a, there is another UK brand, Schofield Watches, that started off uh, the same way, where they used to sell Cuban cigars and coffee, though I don't think they sell those kind of items anymore. And where Schofield has left off, Pinion has picked up on. Though I don't think they sell cigars or coffee yet. Peers, if you ever decide to sell either, you know where to reach me. But they do create a sense of community with their Pinion Watch owners. Um, the British watch companies 
Uh, they just exude class. And, you know, Pinion is active at launch parties and events, and they form a really nice community. And they really have excellent customer service that is led by peers. I know that he leads the way in that. And he represents his company in a really classy way. Uh, another way that Pinion really stands out is in their prices of their watches. Yes, a couple grand is expensive for a watch, but if we compare Pinion watches to other uh, British made watches, they are not price above them. In fact, they are priced under them for just excellent quality. It's the kind of watch that we really have to handle and see in person to appreciate. And then we get it. We fall in love with it. It's very uh, hypnotizing or very mesmerizing whenever we handle a Pinion watch. And I'm not the only one who feels this way about Pinion watches. Oh, a call right in the middle of a show. What are the odds of that? Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. So why did I play a random clip of Taken? Well, it's really not so random because Pinion watches are so hot that some of you might have noticed that it was worn by Clive Stanton, the star of the television series Taken, which was a spinoff of the movie starring Liam Neeson during the first two seasons. And that is not an easy feat, especially for a new watch company. Though, Pinion is going on six years now and they are gaining some real momentum because they are also working on a couple of other major <laughs> projects. Pinion has done an excellent job in avoiding the pitfalls of so many other watch companies that just have one watch with several different dial colors. So Pinion, Pinion has distinct models with distinct features. And in addition to the Axis 2, they have the Atom and the TT, which is for two time zones. And the very sexy R1969, which uses a hand-wound new stock Valjoux 7734 movement. That is a very sexy chronograph. And they don't have too many watches that dilute the brand. They offer just the right amount that keeps us interested. Though I wouldn't mind seeing a Pinion watch with a power reserve. I really like what Pinion has already accomplished in a short period of time and where they're headed. I think they really have a bright future. So what's next for Pinion? Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> The new Atom should be available in the next couple or so months. And Piers took that watch so seriously that he held a survey on his website for your feedback. And it was your feedback that helped create the new Atom. While the new iteration, I believe, is 41 millimeters, the Atom 39, as the name suggests, will be in 39 millimeters. And I believe it will carry a little lower price point. And I also believe that I will have a review of the new Atom 39 when it becomes available. And I am really excited about that. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. And here is the Axis 2 by Onion Pinion. Here's the Axis 2. The Taken Television series starred Clive Owen, Clive Drexler, Clive Stanton. So I went with the contrasting black strip natural strap. Come on, man, get it together. So underneath that really cool black tissue and uh, the ribbon right here, we get this really cool blue box. Uh, where it says pinion here and then when we open it we see this really oversized cleaning cloth right here really cool a really nice uh, generously sized cleaning cloth i've never seen one this big but i like it and then we get another nice canvas bag uh, right here and then inside the canvas bag watch this a really nice and cool leather uh, and canvas watch roll with the pinion branding on here. This is just a really nice touch. And uh, let's, let me see, I'll open it. And this is what the watch came in. And it has, we can see it has well, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and two small slots right there. And the watch came in here. Here's room for another strap right here it comes with a spring bar tool as well which is a really nice touch let me find it here here it is uh with the pinion branding here this is a really nice really nice knurled edges right here along with the metal this is actually a really nice this is not a cheap uh 
spring bar kit right here. But this this comes with it. Really cool, like I said, just a really, really cool and, and warm presentation. And then we get more information where it says pinion, and then we open it. Uh, another warm touch with this with this card and and the warranty, uh, and a really cool pinion watch catalog where it says right there, 2018 and 2019. Just some really cool information. This is just a. Uh, I haven't read this all yet, but it looks like it's going to be a fun read. And it, you know, whenever we get something new like a new watch. Uh, to play with just reading this information is just a really nice touch so as I said this is one of the nicest presentations that I've seen and a really cool leather watch roll uh, this this is just great I think this